would direct that, this, that it be scheduled for an upcoming agenda. Is there anyone here to speak during citizen comments tonight? Okay. You choose. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, my name is Ron Josephs, 1080 Felix Street. Thank you. I just, on this golf course closing, who's going to pay for the cleanup? Are the taxpayers going to get charged for any of that? No, and actually I'd, we have been meeting about that quite a bit. I might refer to our uh, city manager here for, if you'd like more details on that. Well, we're still kind of working through all of that. Part of the, the process that we're in right now is we are analyzing the environmental portions of that project. We're working with the county and trying to figure out how best to approach it. So I guess if the taxpayers aren't paying, who's going to pay to clean it up, I guess? We're working with developers on a with developers on a subdivision plan as part of that. Okay, I'll go to my next subject. Robert Street. You know, <clears throat> I went to the first meeting about Robert Street at Thompson Park when they wanted to redo Robert Street. And at the time, if I remember, it's been years ago, they wanted to do Robert Street because they didn't want to lose like $6 million from the government. And at that time, it was only going to cost like that, about $12 million. So what did Robert Street really end up costing? Can anybody answer that? Ballpark. And who's going to pay for how much over budget it went? Tax the taxpayers. Yeah. Well, that was a great deal, wasn't it? That's the way life works. Yeah, well, now school wants another referendum. I'm getting so sick of this baloney, too, because if it fails, I remember years it would fail. Then a month later, I read in the paper, oh, they voted on it again. Oh, it passed this time. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Well, the referendum. Well, seems for, fair to the taxpayers. The referendum for the schools is coming at an. Uh, an optimum time because all of the, a lot of the debt that the school district is carrying at this time has been paid off and those bonds are re being retired. So if we are successful and uh, the, the communities pass this bond referendum, which I think will be an excellent thing because you can't build a better community without better schools, uh, the debt falling off will be probably replaced with the debt. So you probably won't see much of an increase, if any, on your taxes because well, what falls off the, will I be replaced a, with the future. In my mail, my taxes are going to go up like $100 or so. Pardon me? I'm sorry, I didn't miss, miss the that. The thing I got in the mail, it said like my taxes are going to go up like $100. And that's probably for much. So you know it's $100 here, look at, it's $100 you have to look at where You have to look at your tax statement and see if the West St. Paul is putting it up or if the school district is putting it up. You know, we've got uh, pretty good debt to recover uh, and pay on our Robert Street because uh, the state of Minnesota didn't come through. But this council, uh, this councilman, and these, this council is not done working to try and get the state to pay their fair share. Yeah, we'll be down at the legislature. I've been about that for yep. a long time. Yep. But We're going to keep working on it, Ron. We'll keep working on it. Yeah. Well. And as far as it being safer, I almost got two accidents already. If you're on Butler coming towards Robert Street, right, coming west from Oakdale. I'm coming up there. Everybody's in the left lane, backed way up. So I want to go straight through. So I'm in the right lane. I'm coming up there. I just about get to that Dairy Queen driveway there, and a car pulls from between the cars wanting to turn left. And if he didn't see me at the left, I missed him by probably an inch. I had a swear way to the right. It's mm -hmm. that entrance way going to that Dairy Queen is so dangerous. Now, if you're coming the other way, if you're coming on Butler the other way, going towards the freeway that's what east. eastbound eastbound so everybody's backed up right yeah so the people wanting to go straight they're all lined up and then they all go over the, it turns green they all go and then the guy in the front he wants to turn into dairy queen but everybody's got the, the entranceway blocked up so everybody's backed up across robert street right so he can't go until the guy's in the left lane and move well when the left lane arrow comes for them turn left they can't turn left because we're all backed up across Robert Street. Yep. That thing is so dangerous, it's unbelievable. Yeah, Don't right. anybody ever go look at these intersections and see what's going on. Well, and, the and problem the there, they Ron. did Robert Street because they said there were so many accidents. I asked for three years how many accidents there was, and nobody could answer my question. Does anybody keep track of the accidents on Robert Street today? My wife gets her hair done at a little salon there by uh, McDonald's. They tell her there's accidents all the time because people are whipping U-turns trying to get back to McDonald's. I see people whipping U-turns all the time. Yeah. I think it's more dangerous now than it ever was. There, there is information on, uh, there are crash statistics. I mean, and if you want to contact staff, we can certainly hook you up with those. But the other, no, the other arrows, thing is, they, if, they you me finish, if you let me finish. It all just, used to be, if I know, you got I know. a green arrow, you could turn, and then a green arrow went out, and then you had a, 
You couldn't turn it until you had an opening. Now they got the flashing yellow, which confuses people. It does. It does. It, does. it takes I some getting used to. But I the other part you. of it was not only reducing the number of crashes, but also the seriousness of the crashes. And there were fatalities on Robert Street. And so now a big part of the engineering was to reduce the rate of speed and to cut down on those more serious accidents that were occurring on Robert Street. And I do believe that we've seen a decline in those. And I don't, again, I don't have those numbers right in front of me, but we can certainly put you in touch with staff. It ain't even straight anymore. You're going down the street, you got to go this way, then you got to go that way. It's a, I think it's way worse than what it used to be. I, I, was, I lived in the West Coast for 55 years. I've seen more accidents since it's been done than I ever have. Then we got the dome. If we'd have got the vote on that, that would have never passed. Harmon Field, you got all these lighted fields. I never see nobody on it. Bike trails, there's no end to how much you want to spend on bike trails. We never get the vote on any of this stuff. Right. You know how much money I got on my Social Security last three years? Five dollars a month. But yet, oh, it's only $100 for this. It's only $100 for that. That's baloney. You people sit around and you just try to figure out more ways to spend our tax money. Ron, I'm going to come down and, and get you, and I'm going to bring you up to Harmon Park this summer, and you can see all the well, kids. Well, you bring me up here, because every I time I go in the summer, to. I see people in the, on a swimming thing on the corner, and everybody's got the streets all blocked off. They don't park in the, the lot because That's they got a lot to half a block. The lot's full. It's That's full. why the lot's full with the kids playing baseball. Uh, well, you bring me over and all these fields are being, being done, because the last meeting I was at, I said, why don't you have somebody write down a month how many uh, times they played ball on this field and how many times they played ball on that field. Because every time I go about, maybe I'll see one ball game going on. Uh, I just get I'll fed get up with it. I mean, us people on Social Security, we never get no goddamn raises. I know it. I didn't get one either. Gas is low, so you don't get a raise for the last two years because gas was cheap. What that don't mean food wasn't going up and everything else was going up and your, your pills were going up. I know. You're going to tax the, the senior citizens right out of their homes. Mr. McKee, did you have some comments? I'll be easier on you. Okay. <laughs> First of all.